So just as an aside, when I was doing the uh, work with the uh, track saw, cutting all that, those uh, lap joints, and I finally got my cyclone fix, I just wanted to show you, let's go over and take a look now, <coughs> the, uh, the amount of sawdust that goes into my cyclone compared to going into my saw. So it's, it's uh, not 100% efficient, I don't think any cyclone is, but it, it makes a significant difference. Instead of emptying and cleaning the filter in the, in the vacuum all the time, now you just empty the bucket. So I'm going to just turn you around here. I'm actually going to put you on the mount here because I kind of need two hands to do this. So, there we go. So I, I, I updated this from the plastic bucket I had that I said had a, uh, ended up having a leak in it because it just gets deformed every time to one of these metal buckets with one of these things here. So that's the amount of sawdust in the bucket. And let me tell you, that's, that's a lot of sawdust. That's, that's half, eh, a little less than half full probably. And it's a five-gallon bucket. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot of sawdust in there. That bucket is pretty full. So now let's take a look down. Turn this off and see what's actually in the uh, in the bucket. Let me just bring you down here a little bit. Don't mean to bring you down. So that's the top of the vacuum, and yeah, there's there's a little bit of sawdust in there. Let me see if I can make that view a little better. There's, I don't know, maybe three or four cups of sawdust in there, let's say. If I was to really have to tell you the amount. But that's really not a lot of sawdust. I mean, in the overall scheme of things, it's a pretty small amount of sawdust. So, if you've ever thought about putting a cyclone on your, on your, on your shop vac, uh, for me, it's been a really, really a, a useful thing because the other thing is the filter. Hold up the filter. You can see the filter. Compared to running it without the cyclone, those uh, pleats just get absolutely, completely jam-packed of, of, of very fine dust. Now, there's certainly, you, could, you use a cleaning, you can always use a cleaning, but um, comparatively, it's just night and day. So I would say that the cyclone would be great. I made this cyclone that's on here. Turn you around. This little cyclone, it's a Pence design, scaled down considerably. But I made that little cyclone. It wasn't that hard to make. But nowadays, you can buy those, the plastic, you know, uh, the generic ones, uh, with Dust Devil or something, I think one of the brands, but you can buy like the, the, the plastic ones. I bought a plastic one from China here off of uh, Yahoo Auctions, which is like our eBay in Japan. And I bought one here and because and I have a smaller version of this vacuum that I take to job sites when I'm running the sliding compound miter saw and the track saw. And I made that into a cart and I put a cyclone on that. <coughs> and it works about the same. I don't think there's really too much of a difference. But the, the biggest thing is you just don't have to empty the vacuum as often and you don't have to clean that filter as often, which is a big difference. Like really maybe I could empty that I could fill and empty that bucket four or five times before I'd had really have to take the vacuum apart and give it a good solid cleaning and that's a big difference you know when you're working in a workshop a lot like I am anyways that's it take care see ya